Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are looking at Random X Monero Mining on a Ryzen 3700X. We'll do a quick setup and then discuss undervolt, overclock and hash rate. For efficient XMR mining, I found my best results with undervolting the CPUs. Same as on my 3900X, I started out with 1.1 volt on the CPU. You can immediately feel that in power and temperature, while not losing too much hash rate. More on that in a bit. After that, I'd recommend to check your RAM settings, either the XMP profile or go custom with an overclock and try to fasten the timings. I did not do that for now, except activating the XMP profile on my CL16 3200MHz set of 8GB each I got here. Remember, Random X really likes RAM with high clocks but at the same time fast timings. Next would be some basic steps for Monero mining like enabling huge page files in Windows for example. I made a dedicated video for those basics to better your hash rate. I will link it for you in the top right corner that shows you how to enable those and I would go through all those steps before continuing. With those settings I use Xamarin as my miner. Don't forget to always start the software with administrator rights for better hash rate. That's what I would call the absolute basics in order to start to mine Monero. Everything else is tweaking and optimizing. Like that I managed 8.9 kilohash a second, which is not bad without too much tweaking. So I still got 1.1 volt on the CPU core voltage and at the same time I started to increase the core clock slowly until I got unstable. The highest core clock on that was a stable 3.95 gigahertz. Those settings were set in BIOS by the way. In the Ryzen master software it was a bit different. I could volt way lower from 0.9 to 0.6 but I was not too sure if that made any difference anymore. I could not clock the chorus higher there either just for your info. So the average with Ryzen master was lower 8.6 to 8.7 kilohash a second. So until I have time for for the DRAM tweaking, I will stay with a 1.1 volt. For comparison, my 1700X, which is also undervolted, manages around 5 kilohash a second. So we can see a nice generational bump over the years with the improved cache. A 3700X can go up to 11 kilohash a second, but for that you would need a perfect overclock and undervolt, as well as either extremely fast RAM or tweak your RAM timings manually. I'm happy with a downvolted setting for now, but of course there is more to do still. Let me know if you're interested in a dedicated video on tweaking memory. I did that on the 3900X system back in the day and honestly it was a pain. Let's talk earnings. With those 8.9 kilohash a second, as a snapshot right now, this will earn 0.0028 XMR a day, which will be around 92 cents, US dollar cents that is, at the time of writing, without deducting power. With Monero, I hear the question if it's worth it so often, and if you look at calculators, it never is. But from personal experience, I can say XMR mining has definitely paid off. It's a long term game to look at compared to GPU mining. Hit the subscribe button for earning updates on this chip and how much it can do in 2021. Again though, I would never set up a machine only for Monero mining. I always state that too. I try to see it as something you can always do on the side. Same as this 3700X is powering a test bench of mine. So it would be running anyway, just that I decided to power it with a stronger chip to have some Monero hashes. If you're interested in a dedicated video on that whole test bench system, please let me know in the comments too. And you know that I own a 3900X as well. If you would like to see a hash rate video on that chip, maybe without the steps from this video that are the same, let me know too. That's already it, a 3700X setup for mining Monero, a good baseline hash rate but still more optimization to do to get more out of it. What is your 3700X hash rate? Let me know what you think and how your CPU mining adventure is going. I know many of you mention Veruscoin often too when talking CPUs. I have not looked at it since the Black Miner F1 Mini anymore to be honest. Share your experiences below too if you like. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto videos. Happy mining and bye!